G'day Gemini, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you for Valentine's Day. <laughs> See what's going on, eh? <laughs> so this is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Cross watches, this could be your energy, if not it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes and views. Every single one of you is greatly appreciated. Yes, you watching right now, thank you. <laughs> and all the decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. Alright, Gemini, let's start with a message for you. Message about Gemini. What do we got here? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. And... Ooh, separation. Time from heart... Time apart from your partners on the horizon as we saw what was peeking through. Reconciliation. So, you're getting some support some, for some friends here about this true love that you're trying to call back in, that you're in separation from, that you want to reconcile with. Hey, Gemini. Mm. Wanting to get back with your true love. Mm. Had some time apart and I realized, wow. Got new love and codependency. A new person, but there's addictions affecting you. Yeah, I think you're, yeah, you're still, you're still attached to a, getting a commitment out of your past person to look at new love, aren't you? Mm, you want to give the, your old relationship a chance here. You're still staying optimistic about it, using that self-love, but still feeling that passion, aren't you? For that person in the past. That true love. Mmm. Mmm. Got new love here. Wanting new love with that true love. Having that heart to heart about how you deserve love. And letting your friends help you to reconcile. Mmm. Alright. Let's get three cards for the love energy coming towards Gemini for Valentine's Day. Is it a new love with a past person? Or is it a brand new love that you're not sure about? It's just still looking at the past. Mm. Interesting. Okay. They have past life relationship. You've known each other before. So this is someone from the past or someone that you feel like you already know. Or they already know you. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual paths, so something to do with their belief systems when it comes to love. And soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. They definitely see you as a soulmate, Gemini. Hmm. Alright, you deserve love. You are lovable at the bottom of the deck for them. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Give your relationship a chance. They want to give this a chance. Ooh, but they're looking out for red flags. Mm, they may retreat if they see them. Yeah, wanting to express love though. Willing to give it a chance, but if there's red flags, they're running. Wow. Okay. So... Let's get some clarifiers and get a bit more info on how you feel, eh? Hey? Alright, what's the message for Gemini? The Empress. You're looking for something that'll grow. You want to grow this. You see that person as your Empress. Male or female, someone you can grow with. Six of Swords, wanting to move on. 
We'll move forward to Carmel Waters. Knight of Cups, Water Energy, offering that love. Six of Wands, hoping that'll be successful. Maybe you can move to Carmel Waters with this person by expressing love. And it'll be successful. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a good idea. It's a good idea to come in and show love. Mm. Mm, you've thought a lot about this, haven't you, with the Hermit? About how to move forward triumphantly with this person. King of Pentacles, Earth Energy. You're looking for commitment and stability here. And a new beginning with this person. Wow. Yeah. But you just, yeah, you're spying on them. You need more information, don't you? Air Energy, Page of Swords. Okay. Tell me about past life relationship for the Love Energy coming towards Gemini for Valentine's Day. So they have the Hermit and the Unknown card, the extra card in this deck. So in the past I think they felt a bit alone and didn't know where this was going. I couldn't see where this was going. It was unknown to them what was going to happen. They, I think they felt very alone. They've done a lot of self-reflection here and a lot of self-work, but it's still unknown what happened in the past between you two. Eight of Wands. There might have been a lot of back and forth passionate communication here, but... Maybe they want to talk about the past. And what happened? Because they don't know what happened. That's weird for the past. Usually it talks about what the past relationship with you guys was. And I guess they felt alone and didn't know where this was going. There was a lot of communication back and forth, but it didn't go anywhere. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Two of Swords. And the Fool. So they wanted this long-term stability with you, but again, on their own. They're on their own here. I think this did their head in. It was a nightmare for them. Because somebody couldn't make a decision here about taking that leap of faith. To become committed and stable, King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and move forward. It wasn't balanced here. There were secrets that was unknown. There were fears. But they did wish to have this with you. But what happened with the offer? <sighs> Maybe they were waiting for you to offer something, but never got offered. The devil. Something toxic happened here. Ten of Wands, and it became a burden. This relationship just didn't go anywhere. It became a burden and a negative connection. Very conflicted about reconciling. Mm, but maybe if there's an offer of love, Page of Cups, Water Energy. Mm. If there was love offered in the past, perhaps there could have been a commitment here. Hmm. Yeah, they just don't know. And there's a lot of fears and the unknown here. Tell me about religious factors for this love energy coming towards Gemini for Valentine's Day, please. Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So they believe if, if you both put the work in here, you can have a passionate new beginning. But you both got to put the work in. You got to work on this together. 
So the belief, sis belief system was when it comes to love is both people have to put the work in to have a passionate new beginning. Yeah, the tower for things to change. Or else it'll all fall apart again. Yeah, to bring it in out from out in the cold, Five of Pentacles, and have this love again with the Two of Cups. They're stuck in their head about it because this King of Swords air energy, that's you, Gemini. Because there needs to be a convers adult conversation here about passionate stability and commitment. Obviously, there wasn't one in the past. Very little love was offered. Page of Cups, water energy. Hmm, there's going to have to be more love offered than what there was in the past. And talk about stability. Adult conversation with the King of Swords. They want to cut out all that crap from the past and have a new beginning. But there's got to be an adult conversation here. For a new beginning to happen. All right, tell me about soulmate for this love energy coming towards Gemini for Valentine's Day. Wow, the Fool and the Seven of Cups. So they see you as a soulmate and they want to take this leap of faith and have a new beginning here. But there's a lot of confusion and illusion at the moment. I'm not getting options. I'm getting there looking at all the possibilities of how this could move forward with a new beginning. But I'm just getting more that they're confused because they don't even know what happened in the past. What happened? Knight of Cups, water energy, wanting to come in and offer that love. Wanting to take that leap of faith and offer this love, but there's so much confusion here. That's why you have to have that adult conversation. And speak your truth to each other about how you really, what, what you want out of this relationship. Because there's too much unknown here with the moon. Six of Wands, they want this to be successful and have a commitment here with the Hierophant and long-term stability, passionate stability. But there's the unknown. They want to heal this. They do. And they want apologies or to apologize or to offer some sort of love with the Page of Cups. But they're so conflicted because of the past. How can they make the right judgment call here with the toxicity of what happened in the past with the devil energy? That was such a burden for them because there were secrets like it. Yeah. Things were kept secret and hidden. They felt cheated. They tried to stay in control, but they just couldn't see where this was going was it heading for an ace of cups or a painful ending hmm gemini yeah they're a bit confused here about what actually went on in the past yeah you just need to talk and clear this up for sure Alright, give me a message for Gemini at the bottom, please. For Valentine's. Spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. Friendliness. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. Present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. And gratitude, you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that loving, that life lovingly presents to you. So maybe you need to be a bit spontaneous here. 
come in a bit friendly, maybe with some sort of present or gift. Um, be in the moment as well and be grateful for any time that you have with this person. Yeah, there's trust issues that need to be sorted out here, but you're willing to do that, so that's good. Um, you appreciate the view of others because you sense the love in everyone, there's tolerance. Yeah, that whatever was tolerated in the past needs to be released here. And some, you need to take ownership for your part and speak your truth and honesty here to bring back harmony between you two. Wow. Gemini. Yeah. You know, you got to be virtuous and acknowledge and encourage this to grow and evolve. You're going to have to be creative here, but don't forget your self-love. Yeah. And your individuality here. There's a purpose to this and it's to help you transform so that you can have this unity, but you, you know, this union, but you need to do some transforming yourself as well. And you need to see this from their side with empathy as well. You just need to honestly speak with each other. Give me at least, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Gemini for Valentine's Day, please. Ooh, okay, that was a bit choppy. Ooh. Ah. Which one landed first? I think that one landed last. We're taking that one back. Okay. We got your three. Don't even know what it was, not even looking. Okay. They have spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. Okay. Commitment. You dis de sorry, you dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. I'm just itching my foot with my other foot. <laughs> Sorry about that. And respect. You you value everyone's unique perspective on the path of love. So. Spontaneity. So something just spontaneously. Wanting this commitment with you. But also having self-respect here. Wanting it to be done with respect. They're not going to ha have self-respect here just to get back to with you. So, mm, tolerance, willingness, forgiveness, and action, yeah. They're not going to tolerate that part stuff from the past. Yeah, you can, they can appreciate your point of view on that, but, you know. Mm, there is a willingness to compromise if the end result is love. There's got to be some forgiveness here to release the past hurts. And action has to be taking, taken here to express the unique loving colours of your soul. They want this action to take place for the responsibility be to be taken. To be free to be themselves, free of self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations in this relationship here. Yeah, accepting... That they may have to be patient here and, you know, see that you're on a different path to what they are. Show some compassion here, allowing this to elevate. Mm. Yeah, they may have to detach themselves from something. Old patterns, yeah, the old patterns, they've got to detach from that. But mm, seeing it from there, yeah, having some empathy here. Feeling the emotions of another, but they want this joy with you and peacefulness. They want the, the love, not the fear, and the truth from the illusion. The truth from the illusion, that's exactly what that's here, that we saw before. That's what they're looking for. The moment they'll just tolerate you until there's a, willi a willingness for this forgiveness 
the apologies and the forgiveness to happen and there has to be action towards that. You do need to talk about whatever happened in the past. And why it didn't go anywhere. Why they felt it didn't go anywhere. What was going on there? Alright, message for Gemini is the Empress. So best you boss up and be an Empress in all, us, all four aspects with love. The Two of Cups, where you see this person as an Empress. Two of Cups, there's love between you two. You feel it. You want this stability here with the Four of Wands. You're still holding on to it with the Four of Pentacles. You still see them as someone you can grow with. Your true love. That you want 11-11 stability with your soulmate. You're still holding on to them. You're stuck in your head about them. And you know you need to take that action with the Knight of Swords, air energy, and speak that truth for this to move forward. You know what needs to be done, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yep. To get your Empress back. Or Emperor. Or male or female Empress. Get the one you want to grow with back. Tell me about spontaneity for this love energy coming towards Gemini for Valentine's Day. Please. It's this spontaneity. Whoa, wow, that's a lot. That just exploded. Okay. Well, they have the tower. Wow. Out of nowhere. Six of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. High Priestess. And the Three of Pentacles. So, whoop, slide that over. So, out of nowhere. They might just come in spontaneously out of nowhere. <laughs> to try and move this to come waters here. Because it's doing their head in. They can't sleep at night. It's a nightmare. It's like sleeping on a bed of swords. <sighs> yeah, they want to move to calmer waters with you. And they might just come in out of nowhere to try and do it. Because they want this long-term stability with you. <sighs> They're trying to trust their instincts on this and their intuition here. That if you just put that work in, if you just work together, it can work. And it's the same as what's up here. They believe that if you work together, you can have this passionate new beginning and the tower. Out of nowhere, things will be, be better. This is what they think. <sighs> if you just put that work in. They'll get this long-term stability with you. And they're trusting their instincts on this. Trusting their intuition. Because this is doing their head in. Not moving to calmer waters with you. So yeah, they might just come in out of nowhere. With spontaneity. Yep, communication, eight of wands, back and forth communication. They might send you a message out of nowhere or travel to see you out of nowhere. Just show up or just a message will just come through. Wow. I think it's going to shock you a bit. Freak you out. Yeah, they're trying to make the right judgment call here because they are so disappointed about what happened in the past, Five of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, wanting to come in with stability, but not quite taking that step yet. Page of Pentacles, it might just be a message of stability, but they want to take the action. Mm, Seven of Pentacles, wanting to invest, but, you know, they don't want to cheat themselves either.
Well, uh, the plan is the plan. Seven of Swords. You got it's a cheat, lie, and steal, and you need a plan. So the plan is they're going to try and keep their cool and stay in control. Possibly just run into you spontaneously, spontaneously out of nowhere, and see if you're still interested in love. Who? It's going to be completely planned, but they're going to make it look like it was just random. Wow. Yeah, they're in full preparation from this. <laughs> Watch out, Gemini. <laughs> mm. Yeah, they haven't let you go. Four of Pentacles. No, 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 no. Alright, tell me about commitment for this love energy coming towards Gemini for Valentine's Day. Why is commitment here, please? Whoa, okay. Knock my sign down. Okay, they have the Page of Cups water energy. The Moon, and the Seven of Pentacles. So they want this commitment with you. They're willing to come in and offer us at least a, a small cup of love or even an apology. If that's the case. Um, but I think it's a small offer of love, a message of love. <sighs> But secretly, they they want to invest in you long time, long term. Sorry. Yeah, they want this commitment, and they may just send a little message, a sweet message to you. But there is also fear that maybe you won't want to invest in them again. Yeah, but I think behind that message there is a secret that the secret that they yep, eight of pentacles. They want to put this work in. They want to invest in you and they want to put the work in to this commitment. Oh yeah. Yep, they're trying to manifest you in with the magician here to balance things out. Have a passionate new beginning with the ace of wands and have a truthful new beginning, clear the air. See if that passion is still there. Wanting that truth and clarity of what this situation was about. Why weren't you interested in their offer before? They're single, stable and independent here. Wanting to come in with actions of passion. Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, King of Wands, Fire Energy. But controlling those, those urges here. You are their wish fulfillment. Yeah, whatever this cheating line stealing was, I'm getting the different energy from that now. It was a burden. Um, yeah, they're waiting to see. They're waiting to see if this is going to get sabotaged again. Will they have to hold back all that love they feel for you and close out this cycle with the King of Cups water energy and the world card? Oh dear, they're worried. Are they making the right decision here to come towards you and offer, you know, offer this love? Mm, temperance. They're being quite patient here. Patiently trying to work out what to, yeah, what to do because the painful ending or success with the Six of Wands. Being patient, trying to work out what to do. Because it could end in a painful ending or it could end with a successful commitment here. <sighs> Tell me about respect for this love energy coming towards Gemini for Valentine's Day, please. The Empress. Beautiful. That's respect. All right. They have this self-respect for themselves now. They've grown a lot, um, very mature. 
This is all four queens in one. Very loving. But has a lot of self-respect. In order for this to grow with them, they need your respect. They need you to treat them with respect. Like an empress. King of Wands, fire energy. Controlling those actions and passions, yeah? Very chariz charismatic, very uh, sexy and, you know, confident and so forth. Like the Queen of Wands. Can be a bit arrogant. Can be a bit egotistical too, but... Yeah, the actions of passion... Um, they want them, contro they're controlling them because they want respect. So, yeah, they may be holding back their passionate actions because they want respect. Nine of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Well, it's the King or Queen of Pentacles because the Empress is all four elements, not just one of Pentacles. So, I don't know why everybody says it's pre Empress. Um, yeah, they're single, stable, grounded, independent, doing fine financially on their own, pretty stable on their own. Knight of Wands, trying to stay really stable and not come charging in with that passion here. Because they know it's not going to get them the result they want. And that's the truth, yeah. They know their offer is, yeah, it's not going to get them the risk, the, the offer won't be accepted the, like, the, respectfully. So they're just staying to themselves, keeping stable. Wanting to come in with that passion, but not not they're not going to bring in an offer like that. Because they know it won't be accepted. Yeah. They're seeing very clearly that you are their wish fulfillment. And, you know, they're emotionally fulfilled on their own as well, I'm feeling. That's why they're ready for this new beginning. But they are worried about the Emperor. Are you, are you matched to them? The Emperor to the Empress. Have you bossed up? Are you ready to come in and offer? Because that's who they'll offer love to. Sorry, that's what I'm hearing. That's who they'll offer love to. Knight of Cups, my Kiefer Sutherland. From Lost Boys card. That's who they'll offer. Take actions of love towards. Then there'll be a passionate beginning. And this can move forward. But they're conflicted. That's why they're waiting. Will this be sabotaged in a burden? Are they cheating themselves out of something? Or will it be a committed relationship with love and stability here? Can this be healed? Or should they walk away? Is this the Ten of Cups, that the happy ever after that they've been looking for, that can be committed to? Or do they stray strong? Can they be strong enough, after what's happened in the past, to still have that beautiful love with you? Or will they pour it out and cut this out? Queen of Cups, Water Energy, King of Swords, Air Energy. They have all this beautiful love for you, they don't want to pour it out, but they may. There's got to be communication here. They're hoping you haven't gone cold. And can have this four of one stability with you. All right. Let's get some messages. Hmm. So I think these guys definitely need to talk. Definitely. All right. What do you want to say, Gemini? Your energy heals me. Yeah, because you feel amazing with you when you're with this person. That's why you still see him as your true love. I hope you can forgive me. Okay. I'm sorry I lied to you. And I wish things were different. Hmm. Well, you need to come in and apologize if you're sorry for lying. You can only hope for that forgiveness by actually apologizing. Yeah, wishing things were different, it's all well and good, but you need to do something about this. 
You need to come in and apologize for whatever this is. So you can heal this together. Oh, it's so nice. If you can just communicate truthfully to each other, I think everything will be fine. That's the main problem with relationships is people don't speak the truth. Yeah, again, you wish things were different, yeah. All right, give me at least three cards for the love energy coming towards Gemini for Valentine's Day. What do they want to say to Gemini, please? There's two. Yep, there's two. No, I'm messing up the cards. I'll fix them in a minute. <laughs> Okay, so they have, fix them up a little bit, okay, you are beautiful, oh, Gemini, they think you are so beautiful, which you are, <laughs> I'm afraid of these feelings, yeah, and they're afraid if this doesn't work out, what do they do with those feelings they have for you, what are they going to do with them, hmm? I still love you. Oh yes, they do. They still love you. And you still love them. Please don't contact me. Mm. They're not ready. I think they'll contact you. I think they'd freak out if you contacted them. Ooh, I'm keeping you a secret. Ooh. Not telling anybody about how they feel about you. Mm, they love you though. Oh yes they do. And look they will contact you soon. So yeah don't contact them. They'll contact you soon when they're ready. When they're ready they'll contact you. And look I hope you can forgive me. Same. You both need to apologise to each other and... Yeah, forgive each other for this to move forward. But there's got to be truth. And they've got, I'm single and ready for love. So they're not with anybody else. They're definitely single. And ready for your love. Mm. Well, almost ready. Wow, yeah. All right, bonus card, the soulmate deck. A little message from the universe just for you, Gemini. Let's see what comes out, eh? Could be from this person, but it's more just from the universe. The love from the universe. About soulmates. All right. Give me a card for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? <sighs> These cards. <laughs> I really need to trim the edges. They're so pointy. <laughs> they just stab into my hands. Come on. Give me a message for Gemini, please. Thank you. You are loved more than you consciously know. Share your insecurities with the one you love. You'll be surprised and reassured by their reaction. Love is all around you. Someone else got this, but I told them not to share their insecurities with that person. But this one, I think you can. I think you'll be surprised and reassured by their reaction with this one. Definitely. This is a different energy. This is definitely love. That what the one that it came out for didn't. No, I wouldn't have trusted them with your insecurities, but this one, I think you can. I think you just need to be honest with each other. Definitely, and I think you'll be surprised by the reactions if you're just truthful with each other. Bottom of the deck, you are an angel of light. Before I, before you, I surrender past and future. All that matters is this moment. My heart is transformed every time you are near. Aww. Wow. 
So, yeah, it's a matter of surrendering the past and the future here. All that matters is the moment that you are together. You can worry about the future later. Clear up, you know, you got, you've got to clear up the past and then be in the moment. At least, you know, all that matters is the moment. Your heart is transformed when you're near. You've got to get that love back together. You've got to clear up the past. Be in the moment and get that love back together between you two. Those feelings back to be together. Before you even worry about whether there's a future or not. Ooh, Gemini. So, yeah, it looks nice. So maybe Valentine's Day they will just spontaneously contact you. But, hmm. You never know. The Amun and Aaron. who knows? Maybe the little Cupid here with the little ball of, with the heart in it might just send a little arrow into their butt <laughs> and get them motivated. Oh, uh, wow. All right. So that's your reading, Gemini. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will do another reading in a few days and we'll see what's going on then. But this looks pretty good. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Take care. Good luck. Be honest. And yeah, this looks good. This has a good potential. So, all right. All the best. And I'll catch you later.